In this video, I'm going to take a look at the proof 1 equals 0. My question to you is, can you find the mistake? The proof is going to be um, an algebra step type of proof where I'm going to go through and do a variety of algebra steps. And I'm wanting to see if you can look at those steps and see where the mistake is occurring. This is a good uh, practice for anyone that wants to truly understand why you are doing the algebra steps that you're doing to solve a problem. All right, in this particular one, we are going to be given that a and b are integers and that a equals b plus 1. And our goal here is to prove that 1 equals 0. So this given right here of a equals b plus 1, that's what I'm going to start with. All right, now I'm going to choose to multiply both sides of the equation by a minus b. As long as I multiply both sides of the equation by the same number, then that's legal, a legal algebra move. So I'm going to choose to multiply by a minus b on the left-hand side, and then also multiply by a minus b on the right-hand side. Okay, that keeps my equation balanced. Now, on this um, left-hand side here, I'm going to choose to distribute the a. So I'm going to have an a squared minus ab. On this right-hand side, I'm going to FOIL, which is a pretty common Algebra 1 skill here. So a times b is just going to be ab. And then outside terms is going to be plus a. Inside terms there is going to be minus b squared, and the last terms there is going to be minus b. All right, now at this point, I'm going to choose to subtract a from both sides of the equation. And again, as long as I do it to both sides, then I'm keeping the equation balanced. So I'm going to subtract a over here, which means my a is going to go away. I'm going to subtract a over here on this right-hand side. I'm going to rewrite this so it looks a little bit nicer. a squared minus ab minus a equals things that are left on this side, ab minus b squared minus b. All right, now, on this left-hand side, I have a greatest common factor of a, so I'm going to factor out a. So here, let's put that factor out a. On this side over here, I've got a common factor b, so on the right-hand side, I'm going to factor out a b. Okay, so when I factor out an a over here, I've got a, and then a minus b minus 1. Factoring out my b over here, b, take that out, I'm going to be left with an a minus b minus 1. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by a minus b minus 1, because if I divide both sides of the equation by the same thing, all right, again, I'm keeping the um, equation balanced, so a minus b minus 1. Divide this side by a minus b minus 1. Those two quantities will go away, those two quantities will go away, and then I've got A equals B. Okay, now I'm running out of room here, so let's move this back up here to the top. All right, so I've got A equals B. All right, now I'm going to come back over here to my original given statement. My original given statement said that A is equal to B plus 1. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to substitute b plus 1 for my a, so I'm going to have b plus 1 equals b. Now I'm going to choose to subtract b from both sides of the equation. b minus b over here is going to fall out. b minus b over here is also going to fall out, or in other words, leave me with 0. So therefore, 1 equals 0. All right, now, obviously we know that to be a false statement. So your challenge is, where is the mistake? Take a look at each one of the algebra steps and see if you can find the mistake. I'd love to have you comment down in the comments. We have a little discussion about this going, and uh, we'll see where it leads. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.